John 1. Listen to this one. In the beginning, say, the word was. Now, that's a copulative verb, intransitive, which means that you are dealing with before time, in time, and always. The word already was. The word is God. The word is eternal life. The word is a person. The word is the Lord Jesus Christ who was begotten in time and space and took upon himself the form of a man and became known as the Son of Man, the Son of God. We do not believe the Origenian doctrine of the eternal generation of the Son. We do not hold the doctrine of eternal sonship. We hold the doctrine of the eternal word incarnate. All we ask you to understand is that Trinitarian theology was not derived from pagan <clears throat> sources. It was derived from biblical passages where honest, godly men said, Hey, Second Peter says there's a person called the Father, and he's God. And Acts chapter 5 says there's a person called the Spirit, and he's God. And John 1 says there's a person called the Word, and he's God. You got three persons, and Deuteronomy 6 says there's only one God. Logical conclusion, the three persons somehow are the one God. That's how Trinitarian theology started, not with the pagans.